y'all. Tammy here with Happy Art Creations and welcome to my today. Thank you for sharing it with me. Anyhow, um, I did the viewer's choice and everybody picked basically the copper and the um, the verdigris or the, the green, the coppery green and stuff like that. So, I was messing around and last night I was trying to figure out what I could do and I just wasn't sure what I wanted. And so I started doing a few things and I added texture and it kind of looks cool, but you know, it just doesn't sit right with me. So I think what I'm going to do, this is a 12 by 16. I am actually going to try to do like a ribbon pour and I might need to do it from this side because I kind of want to go down from this way like that. Um, there we go. And work from this side down. Not a ribbon pour. Um... I don't know, the angel wing kind of thing. I'm going to try that. I'm going to add a few different colors in. I didn't get what I wanted, and I really tried multiple ways, and, you know, it just didn't work out, and that's okay. I mean, things happen. My table's a disaster, but you know what? I don't care because I'm having fun. So in order to cover the whole canvas, I needed a little, little over six um, ounces Closer to seven, actually. But I'm not putting near that one because I actually want to save some of this on the sides. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I don't know, two, four, I'm just going to layer. I'm going to put pearl white goldens, uh, not goldens, um, oh, deco art. I'm going to put that on the bottom. And then I'm going to layer. I've got my, I'm going to call it Viridian Green. I put, um, I put just a tiny dollop of black to kind of deepen it just a little bit and not be so bright. And then um, that was from a fine touch. And then I added some of the Golden's Fluid Cobalt Turquoise to it to bring it back a little bit um, from the black. The black um, kind of, I'm not going to say gray, but it had a grayer tone. And I didn't want that. Then I'm going to use my Artesia. Arteza Pearl Copper Gold. This is very, very pretty. And, and these look darker than it normally is, but I actually added black to it. And I took a silly old, believe it or not, I used a golf tee. And I kind of just added texture as it dried. Um, and then I have the Artisan um, Metallic Copper, which is gorgeous. So, we're, I'm going to, they are very thick. And that might be too thick. Um, but I want them to be thick. Because I want this to just move slowly. Yeah, that's way too thick. Let me add a little bit of water. I've got plenty of pouring medium in. My pouring medium is just Floetrol. Because um, most of these are metallic, it's a little bit thicker anyhow. Let me move off of the painting. But I just, you know, wanted to give this a try. That's better. But I want them thick. Um, this one I want to move slower. I want it to be thicker. Actually have more texture. Um, this is dry, or as dry as it, you know, as it needs to be for right now. And then I'm going to let it kind of hang out. Um, try, I'm kind of, and then I've got a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of metallic um, black. And I watered it down a little bit. I want it to be a little bit thinner, actually, than the others. Because I'm hoping that it'll kind of give it some um, veining, kind of, sort of. So, um, I'm going to give it a try, y'all. This is a new thing for me. I'm having fun doing it. So I'm going to start right now with, um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use, but I am going to start with the the Pearl Deco Art. Um, maybe, I mean, when I say just a wee bit of a black, just to touch right in there. Because I want to soften. I don't mind a little gray with that. Then I'm going to add... The beautiful, beautiful copper. And I'm going to layer this for a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to put the green, or the Viridian, doctored up Viridian. Oh no, did you see what I did? Okay, easily fixed. Hang on. That's why you don't do it over your canvas, y'all. Um, then I'm going to add the gold. Okay. Then I'm going to start all over. I 
I'm still doing it over. I'm going to add more black this time, okay? All right, then the copper. I don't know, I just thought this might be a cool technique. Really, I've never, never used it. <laughs> and um, anyhow, that. Um, and I'm going to end with the, the white, or the purple. Okay. Now I know these weren't completely the colors that I used before, but um, anyhow. So here we go. I'm going to start right about here. And Kitty, don't get any idea. She's sitting on my little chair next to me here. Okay. They are pretty together, though. Look at that. All right, here we go. Lord, go before it. And I'm just going to do a pour, and I'm going to try to stay right here. kind of would like to have some angel wings. Anybody else have a tendency to move? i got to quit looking or paying. I want to pay attention. Wow, this is thick. But it's hard to pay attention, isn't it? Cat, leave me be. She's patting me like, play with me, Mom. I don't want to play with you. She's climbing up my side. Oh, my gosh. Emmy, get down, you goofball. Thank you. I'll bring it back up a little now that I was... I know some people do this, but I don't know. I could do that with the rest, because I'm going to pour all of it. What the heck, right? Sometimes you have you risk um, muddying your paint when you do a little bit of more motion. But I don't know. We're going to try, because I like, I, I do like the texture part. Let me bring that up. That's probably it. Alright, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to kind of move it this way just a little. It didn't quite do what I wanted to do, but let's see what happens. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, it is, it is thick, and let's see if we can get it to move on down the road. Move on down, move on down the road. Move on down, move on down the road. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Truly not sure. Okay, but... I do like the colors. So where am I going to go from here, y'all? Let me turn it this way so I can see my view now. Uh, it's different. I don't hate it, okay? It's not what I was thinking. But hey, the colors are cool. So let me... Um, there we go. Let me pop us some bubbles. There is no silicone. Just flow troll on water. Mix with the paints to consistency, okay? Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get. Because I'm, I'm looking forward to it drying. Um, I may have to oh, add some flow extender which I didn't plan on doing. Let's bring that white down. I'm getting rid of that kind of blobby stuff right there. Okay, let's bring it back up. I am not done. Hmm, this is aggravating me. So, y'all, 
y'all hear me out. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to take my Floetrol. Y'all, it dries clear. But I need a pouring medium, but I don't really, or a, a, a what's it called, medium. I, I've not done this either like this. But I need a pouring medium that I can actually start to flow my paint. So, y'all, we'll find out together how well it works. I mean... I mean, push come to shove, I've ruined a canvas, but I want to try. And I didn't want to take away all of my colors on the side, so let's see what it does, y'all. Let's fill that in a little bit. And it's thinner. It's thinner than my other paints, so hopefully it'll just glide over it, and that's what I want it to do, okay? Hey, oh my gosh, can you see in that? Look at that. That is kind of what I was looking for. So once maybe I, if I do this a little bit this way, open it up. It's super thick paint. The paint is thick. It's thicker than I normally would use, so. All right. Not what I'm thinking. It's just not moving. So what am I going to do now? I want y'all to do this with me. It's, it's pretty, though, right up in here. Well, heck, here. Let's get some of this. Some of the green. I'm going to pour a lot of it off. Where is my stirrer? Here's a good one. This will work. This is experimenting in action. Okay, that is quite fluid. What else? Um, let me get another cup. I'm playing. I am playing, but I want it to be pretty, right? So, I did have one of these. This is the copper. It's just a flow extender, really, is all I'm wanting it to be. Um... <laughs> and this is almost thin enough here. This one was a little bit thinner. So let's see. Heck if I know, right? Now I have used thin down Floetrol with a little bit to where it's almost a transparent color. It has color in it. So I have done that. In fact, it turns out really cool, that part. But I've never just poured it on my, my thing. So, all right. Need a little gold, so I might be covering this all up. But let's see what happens, okay? Y'all are with me, right? Let's go ahead. Trying to add some color. Probably shouldn't have done that last little bit, but let's see. And if I have too much, I have too much, right? Let's just kind of pour it on top. And fill it in. This is a lot of paint. Dang, I hate doing this. That might have been my problem. Maybe I just didn't have enough. And it was thicker than I normally, but I wanted it to be kind of thicker. So let's see what happens, you know? And I might just do... I mean, I think the texture underneath should come through, right? I would hope. And I might just thin down the black and do little bitty bits because I kind of like the black. I'm not against the black. I don't like this cup, though, to kind of do little bitties. <laughs> Y'all are doing this with me. Let's see what happens. I got a little... A little paper play, a cup. All right. Because you can at least pinch them. The plastic ones, you can't pinch. Let me start from this side. And just... Kind of do it like that and see what happens, right? And this is just going to hopefully flood off. All right, 
It looks better than it did. Okay, y'all, this is going to be a mess. Are you ready? Let's pop some bubbles. I see them all over the place. Oh. You should see my cat. She was just being a total dingling. I mean, popping up on my side like, Mama, Mama, Mama. Pestering me, that's a little fur baby. I wonder where that came from, huh? All right. All right, hear me out. Let me get my, there it is. I've got a comb, and I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more uniform. Or at least some more design other than. I know, hey, people do it all the time, right? Let's see what happens. I mean, it's all we can do is wreck it, right? Um, should I? Why not? Probably need some. Let's see if we can get anything out. Copper and green in here. Let's see if I can get some. My plans were dashed. I didn't. My plans didn't quite turn out the way, the way I wanted them, but that's okay. Doo, doo, doo. That's for another day. I'll try it again. I'll do an experiment. <sighs> Uh, I have some gold here. Let me put some gold in the middle. I'm not against this, y'all. Really? What do y'all think? It's really a copper gold. And it is gloriously Arteza. Yay, Arteza. And where's my little paper cup? Maybe, baby, some of this. This kind of scares me here. Oh, you know, those first little droplets, right? I mean, if you don't try, you don't know. All right, let me fill in this, because I know it's going to go over. All right, trash next. Anybody else having allergy stuff? I'm just like most miserable. Well, that's just basically empty. And, I mean, we have so much pollen that it's literally... You can see the yellow on my, on top of stuff in my backyard, like on a table and stuff like that. So let's see, let's kind of cover that. I don't want to muddy it, so I'm going to try to be, again, this is a, I don't know if I told you, a 20, um, not 20, it's a 12 by 16. Twelve by sixteen. A gallery wrap. It's a classic wrap. So let's just um, go this side first and just kind of see. Oh well. Um, I like the gallery wrapped. I like that the sides are kind of. Um, that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the middle yet. I'm going to pour and move it off, but let's go ahead and just get some of these, these sides. There we go. Bring it back up and over. Okay, y'all. I rarely ever don't like what I'm doing, but I don't like this. But we'll see. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm not giving up. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm bringing this down to the bottom, and I'm going to pour and pour and pour and pour. I think I might have put too much black. You know, black takes over. What was I thinking, right? Hmm. I don't like the stripes in the middle. Okay. 
All right, hang on. Sorry, I'm having a moment with sinuses. This is kind of dark. I kind of like this in here. I'm not against that either. I know I keep saying I'm not against, but it's the truth. Let's see what we can do here. You can see the texture coming through. So I'm hoping, and then I'll move it for up top and see if I can get it to move up. Okay, bring it back to center. Yeah, my paint's not moving a whole lot, y'all. see what happens when I do this. Maybe wrecked it too much. Is that possible to wreck it too much? I say I could wreck, I could uh, oh maybe if I pour some of that off. Really don't like that black right there. It's very earthy, and the more it pours off, the better I like it. And maybe when it dries with the texture, you know, it might look better. So uh, this will be one of those on hold. Actually, I don't know. Let's bring it back a little bit, see if we can. Here I am. sponge paint on my table so do, 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 do. Do, do, do. okay sometimes I'm thinking that I've got bubbles and I think what I have is the texture underneath coming up so some of it is bubbly let's see what we can get and it will flatten out I'm gonna try to oops let me finish what I'm doing Sometimes I have to stay focused. Oh, there are some bubbles coming up. There we go. I think. Do, do, do. Um, try to get more to the center so it's the paint is more. Now where those areas I had the um, what's it call it the flow trawl it'll dry clear. And sometimes it leaves a really cool effect. So guys, don't be afraid to to almost water your paints down or put very little paint on um, in the little deal. Because I've got a transparent white that I use that way, and I use it a lot of times in my Dutch pour. And it gives it a, a real pretty coating without it. Um, actually, y'all, it's not too bad. It's very rustic. In fact, this would be a really pretty one to, um, what's it called, uh, embellish on if you're able to do that. Um, <laughs> let me try something. I've got a handy dandy little uh, heat wand. Not to be confused with. The Wonder Wand. Oh, Jilly Cube out of Australia. She has one of these. And anyhow, someone had to correct her that she would say it. And it referenced to something not nice. So, y'all don't look it up. You can find this. It's called M-I-L, or M-Life. And um, anyhow, uh, you can get this right here at Amazon. M-Life. Okay. So let's let's see if I can heat up the paint and see what happens. I don't see a whole lot happening. Yeah, it is getting warm. I don't want to burn the paint. 
So I think the things that I see are bubbles, or not bubbles, there's texture happening. So, I have used this before. I do like it for certain things. I wouldn't normally um, do it. This gets up to 300 degrees. It's, I think it's used for, um, you know, paper art that you use. Um, oh, what is the name of it? Any embossing and stuff. So, um, we shall see. Okay, I'm going to call that done. Um, Y'all, tell me what you think. Should I mess with it? You know, I have that thing where sometimes I feel like I need to finish a line or something's not quite right. But you know what? Nature's not. So, I'm just going to let it go. And we'll see how it dries with, because you know it kind of all sinks in and soaks in. This will probably take a while to dry just because of the paint. The, the raised paint underneath. So I'm going to let it go. And let me raise it up. I took my gloves off, but that's okay. Can't do much with much my... Actually, y'all, I think I'm liking it. So you saw the metamorphosis of this thing, starting from one thing to the other. I can get you in that corner. That one's kind of pretty right in there, y'all. And so these metallics are going to dry, um, dry really pretty. Again, I use the um, metallic copper. I use the pearl copper gold. I use um, viridian, and I add a little bit of black and a little bit of um, the golden cobalt tur turquoise. And I used the um, pearl from Deco Art. That's all I use, that in Floetrol and water. Okay, guys, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you to all my viewers who are still putting it in. I did put a note in there, y'all, uh, that you don't have to vote anymore. Um, it was miraculously, and not, not surprisingly, but overwhelmingly, um, A was the winner. And there was a few follow-up, uh, uh, runner-ups, but overall, yeah. This is, this is my like third try on it. <laughs> I like it. So let's see what happens. Okay, guys, I look forward to it drying. Uh, maybe a few days. I'm going to let it dry for a couple days. You bet. All right, y'all have a great day. Go ahead and if you would, if you like it, uh, share with some friends and subscribe if you haven't already. And y'all, thank you for all the support y'all are giving me. Just subscribing and, and being here and, and all the nice comments I'm getting. I've, I'm very thankful. So y'all, I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. Hey, y'all, I just had to show you my drippings. This is what was on my table underneath that painting. I just did, and it's so cool. So what I'm going to do, believe it or not, I'm going to take a shovel. <clears throat> not going to stir it, but I'm just going to put it in a cup. And it may mess it up, but I'm going to tell you that this paint is usable. You can put it as your base. For if you're gonna any kind of pour, so um, especially if you're using maybe darker colors or whatever, but it's pretty cool and you're not wasting because you know. And I'm just gonna put a glove on top of this, or no, I have this one little lid that I have that I play with on them. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool, y'all. Look at that. Can you see? <clears throat> They're metallics, except for, you know, I think the green was the only one that wasn't a metallic. So, may give you a good... So don't waste your paint. Don't waste your paint. Save your drippings if possible. Um, these were manipulated a little bit. They are thinner, so which is great. I like it that they're thinner. And, um, yeah, in here doing it without a... But it turned out really kind of pretty. <clears throat> but, uh... Just wanted to show you that, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.